Hello and welcome to part 7 of my X-Lights tutorial series. In this tutorial I'll be covering the scheduler and how to create playlists to schedule your show to run automatically. In the description of this video you'll find a direct link for downloading the X-Lights software. You'll also find a link to download a sample show which I'll be using for these tutorials so you can follow along with that if you wish. I also have a few links to my personal display so you can see what Xlights uh, is capable of doing. So at this point, you should now know how to, from the beginning, you set your show directory, set up your lighting networks, configure your models on your home, and assign those models to groups. Also at this point, you should have all of your sequences, whether they be animation or musical sequences, they should be all completed and ready to go at this point. And now that all of our sequences are made, what we want to do is schedule those sequences to run a show for us. So we're going to be using the Schedule tab. Now when it comes to scheduling your show, there are a couple other options out there, such as the Falcon Pi Player, which Xlights allows you to export to those formats, uh, but in this case, you might want to run if you have a separate computer or you just want to run Xlights directly like you would say LOR. Uh, Xlights has a built-in schedule feature which will allow you to run your show. Before you can actually schedule anything to run, you need to create a playlist. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go up and in the file menu go to playlists and we want to add a playlist if we don't have one already. This one I'm just going to let's say call our 2016 holiday show and click OK. Now you'll see that opens up a new tab next to Sequencer um, called the 2016 holiday show. And at this point we need to check and find what files we want to play in this playlist. We could have an audio file such as just Jingle Bells playing without any lighting. We could have video files, or we could have Xlight files. In this case, we, I'm just going to schedule a show to run Xlights. Now, it automatically looks in your show directory for any sequences that are made. I have a few for the purpose of this demonstration. I created a couple other ones called Animation Sequence and another Jingle Bells sample. So now I have three different sequence files within my show directory that I could use uh, for my playlist. So if I wanted to, I could add the animation sequence first, and then I know I want this Jingle Bells to play second. I can then set a delay on each song. I could play these now and output them to my lights. Or I can go back and schedule this playlist. Now before we can actually schedule a playlist to play, what we need to do is save the playlist. So we're going to go playlist, save playlist. Now we can go back to our schedule tab now that we have a playlist made. And from here what we want to do is actually schedule a playlist. So now we have the option of our playlist, which right now we only have 2016 Holiday Show. We choose a start time and an end time, whether or not we want it to repeat. Play first item once if repeating, play last item once if repeating, or random order. All of those are options you can choose when scheduling your playlist. And then you can apply it to certain dates. Now in this case, we only show today's date, January 13th, because that's all I have configured for my show dates. So I'm going to cancel out and let's say we have, uh, let's change this show dates from let's say December 1st, 2016 to December 31st, 2016. So now you can see we have every day in December Currently there's nothing in each date because we still need to go back and schedule a playlist. So now we want to play our 2016 holiday show. 
We're going to start it at 1800 hours, which is 6 o'clock p.m. And it's going to end at 2100 hours. And in this case, I'm just going to repeat. And I'm going to play first item once because that's my animation, just welcoming people to the show. And then I can go ahead and either control click or shift click and select multiple dates or only select certain dates. I'm going to go ahead and select all of them and hit OK. And you'll see that that schedule is now filled in for each day in December. So I'm going to go ahead and for now I'm going to save the schedule. Then I'm going to go up and create a new play playlist. And let's call this our weekend playlist. And let's say on the weekends, we only play animation sequence, we play this song, and we play this song. Let's save that playlist again. Let's go back to our schedule. And let's say on Fridays and Saturdays, we want to play for an hour, so we want to start it at We want to start it at 1700 hours, so we want to start it at 5 o'clock, and this one's going to end at 1800 hours. And we'll repeat it again. But we're only going to apply it to Fridays and Saturdays, so I'm just going to go through and check Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and hit OK. So now you'll see that on Fridays and Saturdays in December, the weekend playlist plays from 17 to 1800 on repeat, and the holiday show also plays from 18 to 2100. So you get the idea here. You basically can create your playlists. You can have multiple playlists. And then within the scheduler, you can have multiple playlists play at different times, different days and it's very easy to set up. So once you've saved, again, always important to save, you're then able to start running your schedule. So let's just go ahead and click Run Schedule, and it says, oh, a light output's not enabled. Do you really want to run it? I'm going to hit No. Thanks for the reminder. So now I'm going to go up here and Output to Lights. Make sure that's on. Then I'm going to hit Run Schedule. And now, automatically, the schedule will run and play each playlist at the times we have selected. So your computer needs to be on and running, connected to your lighting network, output to lights enabled, and you are able to run a schedule. This is very, very easy to use. This is the method I choose to use for my display. I have a separate PC set up in the garage that actually runs my light show. I have all my files through Google Drive, so when I make changes on one computer, it automatically updates it on the show computer, and that show computer is designated just to run my lighting network, and it works out pretty good for me. I then have my FM transmitter uh, plugged into the audio port on that computer, um, and again, it worked perfect for me, and I'm going to keep running mine that way, but there are other options out there. So again, thank you for watching part 7 of my X-Lights tutorial series. Please subscribe to this playlist as I will be adding videos in periodically and, and new tutorials. If you do have any comments or suggestions, please be sure to post them below and I'd be happy to review. Thanks again for watching.